Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on how to simplify radicals, and we'll work with square roots first, and then we'll go to cube roots. Uh, what I like to do is start with a factor tree, and so let's begin with 20, and with 20, you know, we can go 2 times 10, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 times 5, okay? And now we're down to prime numbers. Now, since it is a square root, okay, so what we do is you can pull out pairs of prime numbers. And so we have one pair, one pair of two, so it's going to go outside the radical sign. And then we have, what do we have left for the inside? We have a 5. So simplified, the square root of 20 becomes 2 square root 5. Okay, let's now move on to the 250. Again, I'm going to complete a factor tree, and I know that 10 times 25 uh, equals 250, and then 2 times 5, circle both of these because they're prime, and then 5 times 5, circle the 5s. Okay, so now what we can do is we have uh, one pair of 5. Remember, we're pulling out prime numbers that are pairs, so we have a Five on the outside and what we have left is 2 and a 5 and so what you do with those is you multiply those so it becomes 5 square root 10 okay now let's move on to some cube roots okay now we have the cube root of 250 and uh, we can use the same factor tree you know 10 times 25 is 250 and then 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 5 is 25, and we're down to prime numbers. And just like before, with cube roots, we pulled out pairs with a, excuse me, with a square root, we pulled out pairs, but with a cube root, we're going to pull out triplets. So we have three fives, so it's going to go on the outside, and all you have left is 2. Okay, so it is 5 cube root 2. And one more, please. Okay, what do we do with this? We have a 3 on the outside, and then we have the cube root of 40. And now remember, this would also work for a square root. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a factor tree. So we have 2 times 20, circle the 2 because it is prime. Uh, then we go 2 times 10, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 times 5. Okay? So now we're going to pull out triplets. And so we have three twos, okay? So, but remember, we have a three on the outside, so it's going to be three times two. And then what we have left on the inside is square root, excuse me, the cube root of five, because all we have left is the five. And then we multiply three times two, and that's six cube root 5. So I hope that helps in simplifying radicals, both square roots and cube roots. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.